Hey guys, welcome to Wendy's WW Journey. I am Wendy and I'm so happy that you found my channel. I want to make for you today something that's going to be super hearty and filling as well. Um, today it's a little chilly, it's a little rainy, and so I decided to go ahead and put this in my favorite kitchen tool, which is my Instapot. It's super easy, it's super quick, probably in about 45 minutes from prep to finish, you should be able to have this put together for your family. So even if you come home after work and you, you really don't know what to fix for dinner, you, you've got this covered in the Instapot. So already cooking, I have about a cup, maybe a little more, a cup and a quarter of diced onions, and I have two pounds of ground turkey. So let's let this finish cooking, and then when that is done, I'll bring you back, and I'll show you all the other ingredients and just how quick and easy this is going to come together. Hang on. We'll be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. The turkey and the onions have already cooked. I cooked the turkey till there was no pink in it, and I did drain it a little bit. It had just a small amount of fat that rendered out, so I, I did drain that off. So now let me show you how easy. This is sort of a dump and go recipe. Once you get your turkey and your onions cooked, that's, that's the hardest part, you're done with, with the hardest part. Okay, we're gonna add two cans of drained diced tomatoes. Okay, just gonna drop those in. Okay, we're gonna add with the juice, two cans of pinto beans. And that goes. See how easy? I mean, this is so quick. Right, we're going to add one can of corn. Don't worry about writing this down. I'm gonna link the recipe down below in the description so you can just enjoy this right now and um, get your recipe later. We're gonna add two cans of mild Rotel. If you like it spicy, then go ahead and add that in. All right, we are going to add a 12 ounce, 13 ounce package of turkey kielbasa. That's also going in. We are going to add, uh, I, had, I had two regular potatoes and two sweet potatoes. So I needed four. So I just combined the sweet potatoes and the potatoes. So we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be good though. All right, we're going to give that just a little bit of a stir. Kind of get that mixed up. So far, super easy. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in four cups of water. Okay, you can add chicken broth, you could add beef broth. Um, if you wanted to have it just a little bit more flavor, you could do that. Okay, got this going. We're gonna add about two teaspoons of minced garlic. I did not have any fresh, so I just used the minced. I'm gonna add that in. Just stirring to combine. We're gonna add two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of chili powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. In that goes. Okay, just give it a good mix. You want all those spices to get mixed in. All right. And I have a really large Instapot. Um, this will make probably, oh my goodness, 10 servings at least, um, depending on how big you want your servings. Um, it is going to be eight Weight Watcher points as it is prepared. Um, you can make a bigger serving, a smaller serving, whatever would, you would need to meet your needs. All right, I'm gonna get this super mixed. I'll show you what it looks like before we start cooking it. Okay, I think we're good. I think everything is mixed up. Now, I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss any, any oh, I was about to miss mixed vegetables. A 10 ounce bag of mixed vegetables. That's also going in. So you have got tons of veggies. Um, this is going to be super hearty and super filling. I'm going to make, um, someone on Dish With D's page recommended adding um, part flour and part cornmeal to the two in, almost two ingredient dough. So I'm going to try that tonight that's, that's gonna go with this. I think more of a cornbread would be better with this rather than just um, a biscuit type. So I'm, I'll also let you know how that goes if it turns out. I think it will though. All right, I think I have got everything combined. Now, if you don't have an Instapot, don't worry. This can definitely go on the stovetop. You can combine it just like this on the stovetop and you can cook it for about an hour. But in the Instapot, it is such a time-saving tool. That's why I love it. Honestly, I rarely use my stove or my oven, to, to be truthful. Um, mostly my air fryer, my convection oven, and my Instapot. They are my friends. 
All right, let's see if I can let you see what it looks like. Can you see? Can you see how good that looks? And my Instapot is filled to the brim. All right, let me get this lid on this, get this sealing, and when it is done, I will come back, show you the finished product, and we'll have a little taste test, and we'll see how it turned out. Be right back. Hey guys, all right, I'm back. The Texas Cowboy Stew is done. It took about 15 minutes, 20 minutes for it to come to pressure, and about 25 minutes to cook. So I think all total, um, from prep to finish, we're looking at about an hour and 15 minutes at the most. Um, if you were to cut the recipe in half, you could have it in probably half the time. Um, if not, this, this full container is going to put enough in the freezer for several nights of leftovers and one or two nights just to have during the week, maybe for dinner or, or even for lunch the next day. And I also made the, um, the Weight Watcher almost two ingredient dough, but I, a little twist, like I said, um, I saw on Dish With D's page that someone had replaced half of the flour with cornmeal to make it more of a cornbread um, taste and texture. So that's what I did. All right, I wanna taste test this for you. Let me show you first though, look at this goodness. Oh, wow. And it smells even better. Okay, here we go. Here's the soup, a little bit of everything in here. And here is how those muffins turned out. Look at that. It looks really like cornbread, more than just a biscuit. Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste. I'm gonna give both of them a taste. It's kind of hot, so let's see. I'm, I got a little bit of everything, the potatoes, the vegetables, of course the turkey and this um, turkey kielbasa. It's hot, so let me see. All right, here we go. All right, guys, it's yummy. It looks like a vegetable soup, but it doesn't taste like a vegetable soup. It tastes more like, um, I don't know. I don't really know what it tastes like. Um, this The cumin and the chili powder just give it a little bit different flavor than just a vegetable soup. I also do think it needs a little bit more salt. So the next time I make it, I will add a little more salt because I think it just needs a little bit more seasoning. All right, I wanna try I'm gonna try our little biscuit, our cornmeal biscuit. Mmm, mm. y'all, this tastes like cornbread. But again, look, look at the size of these. It made four giant cornbread muffins, bread, biscuits, whatever you wanna call them. They're three points a piece and they are amazing. Okay, I'll link that recipe down below as well as this. So I wanna thank you for staying with me throughout this process of cooking this and showing you the finished product. Thank you for um, coming back to my page today, those of you that are returning and welcome again to those that are new. And I want to leave you as always with, get out and do something healthy for yourself today. Put yourself first today. Just something small, take a walk, read a book, watch your favorite TV show, talk with your children or your husband, just something that will make you feel important and special today. That's going to make your journey so much better. And if you enjoyed this at all, please like and hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload something. And um, please subscribe and share as well. Okay, I'm gonna catch you next video, which will be Weight Watcher Turkey Stroganoff, one of our very, very favorites. See you soon.